Onivia. League of Legends highlights. Powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on eSports. Yes, it doesn't quite have the same presence uh, around clearing early, but it's still fine. Uh, and we actually had looked over the fact that the Camille got let through the ban phase, it had been the Unicorn. When he's playing into the Sejuani, we tend to see the cleanse. It loses him a little bit of kill pressure in this lane against Exile. <laughs> Doesn't look like he's uh, left wanting it right now. Bright Stock here is what we talked about going in mid. He's on the hunt. Exile trying to get his way away. He uses the barrier early on, but he's pushed back, and that's first blood to rock at in mid lane. And again, Exile gets exploited. Here comes Charchi. Faxi will flash away. To bring to that, so you just have to lose experience here, and that's how detrimental it is in favor of rock at. Exile flashes early. Bright Stalker there. There's the stun, though, and this is going to be another kill. Bright Stalker on the prowl. Two and Oh, in they this are picking these rough matchups, but I am not convinced that they are able to compensate for these matchups consistently enough. Here comes the Hexec ultimatum as Faxi gets locked in. The Cataclysm comes down as well. He'll try and flash away. Faxi Glacial oh. Prism! Zaxi's just like, oh no, you don't, you're not going to escape, and Hillisang will have to try and escape as Bright Stalker jumps in. Hillisang gets the concussive blows off. There's the heal as well. Rocket will be able to back away from this for the time being. Oh, Hillisang burned down! Was that just a red smite? Just to retreat from the tower, gives it up. First tower might go over to Rocket. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Faxi is going to find the waiting arms of Xerxes. That's a ball to the face, and Faxi just trying to get his way away. Is stunned underneath the tower. Xerxes can tank for days. Another kill to UOL. Now that is going to help out the unicorns playing around this Camille. Unicorns of love is. You just need one or two members to really step up. Is it, is it Chachi or is it Samix this game? At the moment, it looks like it's going to be Chachi. Hanin pops the on the hunt, but did going for the engage. Here's Price Hooker from across the side, a suppression, but it's on to Xerxes, and the teleport's going to join the fight. Ripped out like, I want a piece of this action, please. Price Hooker gets Ooh, away. He's out. Chachi jumps in onto Betsy. The unleashed power hits him in the face. Take a ball to the back. And now we're going to see the engage back onto Betsy. Here's Exile eventually joins the fight. Where is Faxi? Here he comes. He's taken the taxi. He's a slow one. They managed to get a to kill the cataclysm comes on to two and it's gonna be a three for two exchange in favor of rocket rocket overall take the second half of the fight and it looked wanted to see from rocket when they were winning in the spring split it was active around their jungle effects he's gonna get jumped on here with the hextech ultimatum xerxes there as well permafrost stun locks him underneath the tower and unicorns of love are very happy to die Faxi tries to put down the cataclysm to keep the boar in a cage but you cannot cage xerxes this is no zoo for you! Oh. He flashes away! Betsy! Faxi gets the kill with the turret <laughs> shot! Chachi will jump his way on the prowl. They want to catch out. Chachi once again, an isolation kill for him. The charm lands. Shannon there as well as Chachi tries to get his way away. Wall jump, grapple. Bright Sugar says, oh no, you don't! Another kill for the wolf in the jungle. At this uh, not for, for long. Now. <laughs> Betz is on his way. Hexer Ultimatum actually dodges the stun. The unleashed power comes out. Chachi manages to escape. Rift Tower brought up in the top lane. That's another member for Rocket to fight around the charm. Onto the back line as Samus gets caught up. He's gonna feather storm to try and get his way away. Chachi did escape in the bottom. A great blade caller back catches up Faxi. And here comes Exile. Straight onto the back line. That's one for him. He's looking for Hyanin as well. That will be his second. A double for Exile would did. Jumps onto his lover, says, hug me, please, Samix. And Samix says, oh no, you don't have Feather to the face. Bright Silk is going to try and take out Exile, but he just can't do it. Exile gets the triple. Unicorns get the. And how Rocket are wanting to play, though, that that fact that that's their only lead is really detrimental because we know Unicorns love to fight at this point in the game. Samix takes a chunk. Chachi Ooh. there as well. He jumps onto Hyun and there's the unleashed power. Hillisang low. Bright Silk has got a kill. And perhaps this is Unicorns losing a fight in the mid lane. I can't believe my eyes as Rocket take down two. They're looking for more. Bright Silk is still getting all the kills. <laughs> get enough damage down, didn't get enough stuns down to be able to stop that, but here we go. Smite Jungle Cat. versus Smite. Pride Stalker, Smite Stalker trying to secure it for himself. Here we go, Xerxes jumps in, but Pride Stalker secures it. Xerxes does not have Flash to get his way out, and he's going to fall as well. Rocket on a killing spree as they go 11-9 up with a Baron in their back pocket as well. Oh, the TP in from Chachi, though. Unicorns are not done yet. Baxi flashes the wall, and Chachi goes the wrong way. Here comes the tactical sweep, perhaps looking to catch out Hyanin. Exiles kill Pride Stalker, the rest of Rocket get away. And this is soon. Yeah, nine deaths, sorry. So as soon as he gets to that 13 death total, that's when they can actually pull the trigger and win this game. Betsy has got two completed items in the Leandri's Torment and the Morello Nomicon, and they're going to engage onto Hillisang. The suppression comes out, they'll catch him out with a charm. Betsy is on a rampage, as are Rocket. There's a fight in the mid lane as Chachi jumps onto Faxi, and the. 
Cataclysm will not save Baxi for long. Chachi swipes him away. It's another kill for the Unicorns top lane. In two time, but this is Chachi not quite looking up to the same. He's had some great moments, but look, Hillisang this time is caught. The damage does come down. There's a Glacial Prison. They've caught Betsy. The Glacial Prison will be cleansed, but they get the kill. Pride Stalker looking for Chachi. Can't quite get there. And Hyanin and Wadid are on their way. There's the charm. Here comes Faxi. That's a kill. And actually, Rocket may be able to turn this one around. Unicorns of Blood lose two, and perhaps they're going to lose a little bit more. Rocket are on the prowl. Wadid's going to look for the jump in. Samax has to flash away, but here comes Wadid. Grand entrance. Not able to make the connection. Hyanin and Pride Stalker still Ooh, on their way. Hyanin going to flash. Look at the damage from Yarnin. That's what you want to see from a late game ADC. Betsy managing to. It looked like he instantly cleansed out of the Sejuani ultimate. Looking forward to seeing that replay once again because look, Rocket now are able to commit to the Baron easily. They will get a uh, second Baron here, and Rocket are in full control. This is very similar to game number one, the way that they're looking to snowball. Five of love as this fight just chases up through the jungle. It's a matter of time before the Sin. Oh, Syndra's caught again. Betsy's gonna get chunked out. The Unleashed Power comes onto Chachi, but that's not enough. That's a great catch for the Unicorns of Love. Not sure what Betsy was doing there. And they're still gonna have the Sejuani ultimate soon. Pride's still gonna try to take the fight. Unleashed Power comes out the knock. There's a charm onto four, though. What can Yarnin do here? He's melting through Hillisang. Pride's is gonna fall as well. Oh, Two kills down. A great Glacial Prison. Honor towards Yarnin as well. Another double kill for Exile. And Unicorns are wanted in that fight. That's exactly the reason, though, that Hillisang has ended up picking this Braum. It was in response to the Syndra in phase one, but now Rockout want to try and go again with EDC. On these power, they're looking for Hillisang. He's the front line. He's going to go down quite quickly. Look at Samix as well. Half HP. There's no even Faxi in this fight. It's a 4v4. Later on into the game. <laughs> that's, that's the uh, anomalous factor for the Unicorns of Love that you can't quantify. Charm's going to land. Ooh. That's it. NXR, Unicorns of Love on the back foot. Chachi's off towards the bottom side, but is he going to be too late to join the fight? He's on to Hyanin, and he puts down the Hexagon to make him be Hyanin. Surviving and Rockado able to take two kills. Unicorns of Love caught unawares. That might just be the end of the inhibitors here for Unicorns of Love because Rockado want to fight some more. Pridesoak is just going in. The enemy game. takes out Samix by himself. Vaccine Pridesoak might just look for the chase. Unicorns of Love squad is incredible. They might do it as you say. Stress 20 seconds left on Exile. That's the inhibitor falling. Medic Rockado are about to beat the Unicorns of Love. Blue Shell powers have activated and they are facing a top tier team and they're about to get a 2-1 win the reverse sweeps are ended for the unicorns of love and rocket are revived is this the start of a winning spree we'll have to wait and see but rocket today will take the 2-1 It's a very happy day for some of the regular rocket fans in attendance flags waving in the audience an unexpected but very deserved win from Rocket here against some of the toughest competition in Europe in the Unicorns of Love. That was a great victory and proved the Rocket had worked on some of the errors in last week's play that we saw against Mysterious Monkeys. They snowballed these games out of the mid, out of the early game, much better. Definitely. And on the other side, Unicorns of Love fell flat at teamfights, which is never where we expect them.